What is up, gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. On today's episode, I'll be running you guys through why I believe that every man should have and maintain a strong and consistent routine and regimen throughout their lives. If you guys are coming back to the channel, welcome back. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Shadi Adada. I'm a business entrepreneur based out of Beirut, Lebanon, and I like to create videos on how to basically not suck so bad at life. So what is the importance of a daily routine? This is honestly something that I credit to 95 to even 100% of the successes that I've had in my life thus far. And on this episode, I'm going to run you through nine to 10 key ways that having a strong routine is really going to help you to enhance every single aspect of your life. And number one is that it gives you defined structure. Most people look at the day as a blank canvas and sure it is a blank canvas, but having no idea where to start, right? Having no idea what to do when you wake up in the morning or what to do when you're in the middle of the day, when you arrive to the office creates a lack of structure. A lack of structure creates chaos. It creates the unknown and just having a set routine every day where I'm waking up at this time. I'm doing this as soon as I wake up. This is how I'm dressing. This is how I'm getting to work. This is what time I'm getting to work. This is what I do when I get into work gives me the ability to actually structure my day in a way that makes sense. At the end of the day, you need to reverse engineer what you want out of your life. If you want to have a productive day, then you should structure a productive routine. If you want to have a bad day, then just don't do anything. Say, I'll figure it out as it comes along. Having a structure allows you to put into place and to set in stone what day you want to have and to predefine the actions that you need to take. Two is that you are enabled to prioritize what needs to get done on a day-to-day -day basis. There are certain things that are going to be more important than others in your life. If you put importance at maintaining your physical health and your mental health and your financial health and your relationship health, you structure your day in a way that allows you to prioritize these things. You say, when I wake up in the morning, I'll wake up at this time and I'll get into the gym at this time and I will take care of my body at this time and I will eat this at this time. Here, you begin to allow yourself to prioritize the actions necessary to actually have the outcome that you want at the end of the day. When you leave things up into the air, you don't know what to prioritize. Your mind is sort of all over the place. It's trying to think, should I do this or should I do that? Should I do this? You're having to exert a tremendous amount of willpower to every single decision you want to make. But when you just have a set routine and you follow that routine religiously, like a soldier, what you're able to do is you're able to sort of mechanically prioritize the things that need to get done and the things that don't need to get done. Well, you just don't do them or you delegate or outsource them. Three is that you're able to start to develop good habits. I'll give you guys a very, very clear example. Around a year ago, I had just gotten into boxing training and this was the first time that I actually put myself in any sort of combat sport. I had this idea that I wanted to challenge myself in a way that I had never challenged myself before. And as someone who had never thrown a punch in his life, let alone taken a punch myself, what I noticed was that I needed to structure my day where I had to get into the boxing ring every single week X amount of times, no matter what, at this time, and I had to hold myself accountable. I held myself accountable by having a trainer. I held myself accountable by putting someone else in the mix that if I wanted to not show up, well, that meant that I was also letting someone else down and I couldn't do that. I structured in three days a week, every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. I even prepaid the sessions and I set myself up so that those three days I had to get done no matter what. And a year later, not only do I know how to throw a punch, but at the same time, I've actually attended 160 sessions. Sure, I'm a long way from being a professional, nor do I want to be a professional, but just by having that routine, by sticking to that routine, a year ago, I was at zero sessions, zero training, zero combat sports experience. Now I'm almost 180 hours in to an extremely difficult martial art that honestly I can be proud of and that I can actually say that I'm pretty damn good at. Four is efficiency. Having a routine gives you the ability to maneuver your life with efficiency. If you look at the highest performers, these are not people that don't have a routine. These are people that are structuring every single part of their day. And I try to do this to some degree, to some extent. Sure, I may not be at the level of some of the highest entrepreneurs out there, but I'm working my way towards that. Efficiency is actually brought to you in the sense of, you know what you're doing at this time of day, at this time of day, at this time of day. Instead of having to exert mental willpower throughout the day to figure out what needs to come next and what you need to do, I know that I'm getting 
into the office at 9 a.m. I know that as soon as I get into the office, I'm going to have a morning meeting. I know that all of the tasks of the day are going to be recorded by my team and I'm going to be able to go into these tasks after the day. I know that around midday, this is when I need to review. I know that around 2 p.m., this is when I meditate. I know this, 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 this. Having the routine allows me to approach each task with the utmost efficiency because I predefined it. I put it ahead of myself and I'm actually bringing 100% to the engagement. I'm not halfway thinking about it and then halfway thinking, oh, did should I have prioritized this task or should I have done this task or maybe I should do another task or maybe I should go into this call or maybe I should do this. That chaos brings with it a lack of sort of purposeness and efficiency in every single action you take. Routines create efficiency, allowing you to create or to cultivate a 100% return on your investment to every single action you take. Having a routine actually saves you a tremendous amount of work. Knowing what time I want to wake up every single day because I have my routine set in stone means that that's one less decision I have to make. Knowing how I'm going to dress, right? And I'm going to dress in this formal way. I have all my suits set up allows me to, again, dress in a way that's extremely presentable to the world, but I don't have to exert too much mental energy in terms of selecting what I want to wear. Knowing what time I'm going to get into work and knowing what I'm going to do at work allows me again to just get into the tasks without having to exert that mental energy or to push myself to re-strategize, to replan every single time that something comes up. Moving on, having a routine actually allows you to be lazy. So what does this mean? Think of every single time you want to get yourself into a task. Think about the amount of willpower, the amount of motivation it takes to actually go ahead and do that task. I have this little skill that I use. It's a little mind hack that I use every single time that I want to get something done. I have my journal, I have my book, and every single day I will write down the key tasks that I have to get done throughout that day, right? This is my routine. I'll do this in the morning and I'll set myself up. And what happens is as soon as that task goes into this black book, it means it will get done no matter what. If it's not going to get done now, it's going to get done in an hour. If it's not going to get done in an hour, it's going to get done by the end of the day, no matter what. I will not go to sleep before getting that done. So this is part of my routine. I put my tasks into this book and no matter what, by the end of the day, I'll have it crossed off. Why? Number one, if it's in the book, means that my mind knows it needs to get done. I don't have to exert willpower. It's just something that I do. I become conditioned. This task is here. That means I need to remove it. I no longer have to exert myself every single time I want to get into a task. And routine is the same way when you structure your day, when you tell yourself, I'm going to the gym at this time. Well, then you're just going to the gym at this time. There's no other way around it. It's as simple as that if you make it, right? If you put your word, your promise to yourself as the highest caliber of word and promise, then every single time you promise yourself or you write it down, well, you speak it into existence and all of a sudden it has to happen. You've spoken it into existence. Next up is skills. Routines bring skills. What is a skill? A skill is competence at doing something specifically. As humans, there are so many things that we don't know how to do. I look back at when I was first getting into my job, into the fashion business. There are so many skills that I was completely unaware of. I didn't know how to cut. I didn't know how to 3D model. I didn't know how to design. But through repetition, through time, through consistency, I was able to chip away little by little at that skill barrier that I was, that was holding me back from being a professional in this. By having a routine, by slotting in every single day, X amount of time for doing something, what you do is you put a little bit of points on the board. I'll give you guys a clear example. I've given you the boxing example. Now I'm testing this with something different. I've never been a musical person in my life. I probably can't sing to save my life. I'm probably tone deaf as well, but I've committed to actually learning the guitar over the last year, over the last two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, I made tremendous progress just by practicing 20 minutes every single day. Just by putting in that work, that time, just by putting points on the board, I'm able to build a skill set that most people will never even be able to come close to. Not because I'm talented, not because I'm the next Lenny Kravitz, but just because I'm actually doing small, specific actions every day. And some days when I get home, I don't want to do it, right? I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Maybe I have to go see my friends. Maybe I have to go be somewhere else, but I will make sure that no matter the time, I'll spend 20 minutes a day practicing something, going on the track. That way, at least I'm not stagnating and I'm definitely not moving backwards. I'm moving 1% or 0.5% or even 0.1% closer to the skill set that I want to build. A very, very important part of maintaining and structuring your routine is that actually it does really stress. Most people will tell you that you are not a to-do list and you don't should you shouldn't have a routine and you should just do what you want to do, right? All of these stupid things, but you're not a stupid person. What you are is someone that is disciplined. And what you need to do is you need to be understanding that you're going to have to face tremendous amounts of stress on a day-to-day -day basis, but stress is not bad. The same person can internalize stress in two different ways. I've always been someone that looks at stress as a positive. So 
I want to remove the negative stress from my life and I want to bring in the positive stress. The positive stress is actually deploying the efforts, actually deploying my grit, my will towards the tasks that I know I need to get done. Having a routine allows me to eliminate unnecessary stress, chaotic stress, stress that comes from the unknowns and allows me to focus my stress or my actual stress tolerance on the things that are going to move the needle forward and get me closer to my desired result. Last but definitely not least is that having a consistent routine, knowing what time you're going to wake up and ultimately knowing what time you're going to sleep allows you to sleep better. I notice this no matter what and no matter how much time I have to sleep, right? Let's just say it's seven hours a day, eight hours a day. Every single time that I delay my sleep, right? Maybe I'm out with friends. Maybe I've been doing something the night before. I sleep late, even though I might have that eight hours, I will always get a horrible quality of sleep. Just by being thrown off of my regular sleep schedule, my regular sleep routine, I notice my quality of sleep severely is downgraded. By going to sleep at the same time, and I'm sure there are tremendous amounts of scientific studies that you guys can look into that describe why this is. But every single time that I actually go to sleep at the right time, at the time that I know that I need to go to sleep, which for me is 10.30 p.m., I will get a phenomenal, very consistent, uninterrupted seven to seven and a half hours of sleep, which is perfect for me. Every time I go to bed late, well, I'm just waking up in the middle of the night. I'm waking up uh, an hour before my alarm is meant to go off. It's just a weird, inconsistent sleep schedule that does not serve me in the long run. Guys, that's been my key points for why you should be implementing a strong routine on a day-to-day -day basis. If you don't have a routine, what I would recommend is just make sure you get three key things done every day. So number one is something for your physical health. Make sure that you're going to the gym, make sure that you're eating correctly. Two is something for your mental health. Make sure to meditate, make sure to connect with people you love. And three, make sure that you are consistently moving towards your financial goals because as men really what more do we have in this world besides our financial capabilities to maneuver and to do the things that we need to do? And in order to do that, we need to accrue cash and we need to accrue resources. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please consider smashing a massive, massive thumbs up. It really does help me out. This is a small channel, but I do this as a labor of love and I believe in what I'm doing and I'm sure that it's gonna bring a ton of value to you guys. So guys, from the very bottom of my heart, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Until next week, we'll speak soon.